start by looking at some of the phantom bags. Uh, so here you are uh, with the 2022, sorry, 2022 edition of the very popular PS7 wheelie duffel bag. Uh, it's undergone a bit of a colour refresh uh, for this year, otherwise being very similar to how it was before. Very popular last year. Um, and as you can see, uh, we've got five bags here in this video. We'll spend the majority of the time uh, focusing on this black and white stealth uh, design, which is loaded with gear, uh, which we'll unload shortly. Uh, but we just wanted to show to you the uh, wealth of options that you have, as Phantom like to usually include with their bag uh, ranges. Uh, you've got this neon design here available. Uh, there's this Patriot, which I personally really like. Uh, there's this gold one here as well, which I also like, and then this purple, the haze design here. Uh, so they're all the same, same bag, just with different colourways. So something to suit pretty much everyone's tastes uh, with Phantom. You'll also probably notice how well all the bags are standing up. Now, over the years, I've been quite critical about wheelie duffel bags, at least on the It's Just Cricket channel, uh, about how some of them barely stood up at all. And if they did, it took a while to sort of configure the bag in such a way to make it actually stable enough to stand up. But you don't get that problem at all uh, with these bags. All of them stand up absolutely fine. Very, very stable. Some of the best I've seen on the market for that reason. So if you want the convenience of a genuine stand-up design to save space in the changing and be highly organised, then this is an absolute winner in that regard. Uh, I also absolutely love things like the detailing and the embossing, the professionalism, as, as is so often the case with Phantom here with the nice heel design. You've got these branded uh, tags on literally every single zip. Sometimes on, on bags you see this kind of thing or maybe two or three of the zips, but not across the board. Here you're getting them absolutely everywhere. I'll show you them in more in action shortly, but I also wanted to first show you the wheel element. Of course, it's a wheelie duffel bag, the convenience of using it uh, as a wheelie bag, as well as a duffel bag. It's your choice, so obviously highly versatile there. Pretty uh, hard wearing, durable looking wheels there. I also love what I'm holding here, which is like an integrated handle here at this base around the stand area, which combined with this handle here, it makes it really easy to lift onto the change room bench or into the boot of your car. And then when you're wheeling it along, you get this uh, additional handle here at the back, uh, which is really nicely padded. You can't sort of pull it out or anything like a suitcase handle, but it is really tough and padded. Makes it nice and easy to wheel along, which will show you more detail a little bit later on. But first we'll unload the bag, show you how organised it is. Another thing I love about the bag is you know exactly where everything is. There's sort of dedicated pockets to pretty much everything, including the helmet. As you can see, this Shrey helmet here in this very padded top section. I really think helmet pockets are underrated and underused in, on the cricket market. I think it's very important personally that helmets are kept away uh, from most of your gear because the grills can of course scuff up against other gear. The helmet itself can get crushed and sort of lose its safety and integrity. So here uh, Phantom is solving that problem by having this own section specifically for the helmet, which is a big thumbs up for me. I love that. Uh, and then moving on to this middle section, which is a reasonable size and snugly fits uh, the, the really nice Phantom uh, thigh pads in there. You could have put one or two other bits and pieces in there. We've just bothered uh, to put the thigh pads in. Uh, the size of the bag, by the way, it's pretty, it's not massive, but it is fairly big. 90 centimetres by 35 centimetres by 35 and we fit full wicket-keeping gear in. I'll show you that shortly, but before I do that, uh, so yeah, if you're a wicket-keeper, if you've got a lot of gear, this is certainly a very good option for you. Um, but yeah, obviously quite important to see how it looks on the shoulders with most of the gear in. Um, as you can see, uh, it's a very ergonomic design. It really sort of hugs my back. Obviously, I'm quite tall. Uh, it seems to be a nice shape um, for me. I also like how you barely notice the wheels are there. Sometimes with wheelie duffels, people are a bit worried that like the wheels are getting in the way, be uncomfortable. But here, honestly, I, I hardly notice they're there. Um, so I really love how that feels in the back. Very comfortable. One of the reasons for that is how well padded it is, as you can see here. The black mesh on both straps, quite thick padding, and on this back panel as well. Really, really good top marks there. Also top marks up here. If you've watched any of my It's Just Cricket bag videos, you'll know how much I cherish a valuables pocket. And here you're getting a decent sized one, snugly fitting your key valuables that you'll need with wallet, key and phones in there. So I'm going to panic that it's buried and lost amongst my main gear. Uh, there's a dedicated place, you know exactly where it is at all times, which I absolutely love uh, to see. 
We also have a dedicated shoe po pocket here at the bottom, which is nicely ventilated. So if you're out there in, on a hot day for long periods, it won't get too smelly, at least um, that'll help. And obviously here we fitted the, the shoes, which are these interesting uh, pre-spike Nike Vapor shoes that Phantom are doing. Hopefully feature them in a future video on the channel. Do stay tuned for that. Um, always good to get spikes separated like your helmet, because obviously the spikes can scratch up and scuff other gear. So getting that here too. This side pocket's quite useful, a side to open mesh with a Velcro uh, enclosure there um, for little bits, bits and pieces, accessories, that kind of thing. We just fitted a few grips in there, something you want quick access to, that's quite handy. Likewise here on the side with this refrigerated cool section, which we put a water bottle in. Uh, we could have put a snack, something to eat there. You've got this sort of reflective materials there, so it properly keeps uh, your food and drink cool, which is always a nice touch to see. Um, speaking of nice touches, they don't get much nicer than this very innovative uh, charging your phone uh, setup here uh, that Phantom have got. So if you're worried about your phone dying or not being able to charge it during the game, you don't need to worry with this bag because you've got the setup here and the charging bank has its own um, power bank, has its own pocket there that's dedicated for a power bank. You can see the cable there inside as well. Um, so everything you need to charge up your phone. That's something I haven't seen before yet on any other uh, bag. It doesn't surprise me that the first time I'm seeing this is on a phantom bag, given how creative they are and innovative with their designs. So it's, it's amazing to be including things like that. I just absolutely love that feature. Um, we haven't shown you the main section yet. Um, there's just so much to see on this bag. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll show that for you now. Um, obviously that's where the helmet was. Uh, but yeah, like I say, full keeping gear managed to fit. There's a mallet there in if you want to knock in the back during the game and annoy the hell out of everyone. Um, top end stunning Phantom Limited gloves. We'll be doing reviews of the new Phantom Softs shortly as well. Do stay tuned for that. Wicked keeping gear, I promise. There's the Phantom matching keeping gloves. Along with standing in for keeping pads are these junior red batting pads, which are actually a bit bulkier than your average set of keeping pads. So really proves that you can comfortably fit full wicket keepers gear in this bag. And then we also have the stunning um, top end whiteout limited phantom pads, another product I'm looking forward to reviewing for you soon on this new YouTube channel. Um, and of course, last but by no means least, we have uh, the bat section, which is nicely padded, tucked away, keep your bats nice and safe. There's a divide in between there so that they don't crash into each other. We've talked about the bat being really well padded. It's also really well padded on this side. So these bats should be nice and secure. Um, they've got some matching phantom bats, of course. These stunning grainy PS7 bats here. Uh, two of them, of course. So if you have three bats, your third bat would have to fit in the main section, perhaps with a bat cover, something to be wary of. Also to be wary, if I had one criticism, it's very minor, but if I did have a criticism of this bag, it would be the fact that uh, these are short handle size only, which we've been able to fit comfortably inside, but it is not tall enough to fit any long handle or long blade size, which I would need, for example. Um, so if, with that size, you have to just put it in the main section, which of course you could, uh, protect with the back cover um, but yeah only short handle size will fit in this uh, back section so like I said something just to be wary of um, <clears throat> so there you go guys all of this uh, for a price uh, oh actually before I take talk about the price I didn't mention the strap setup it isn't really different to the previous designs with Phantom but in case you haven't seen those reviews I'll unclip the strap and show you if you wanted to fold away the straps you can do that by un uh, sticking that Velcro hideaway there. And then with the clip at the bottom, that goes through on that side section. And the purpose of this is just to enable you to wheel it along better without the straps getting in the way. Um, and then we'll show this one as well. So we'll, if you do have the wheelie setup in play rather than the duffel, you're not gonna get these straps dangling along the ground and interrupting you in any way. As I'll demonstrate now, you just wheel it along really comfortably like so. So there it is guys, all of this for a price of 99 pounds. It represents a slight increase on price from last year, uh, but only a very sort of four pounds increase. So very minimal in the grand scheme of things. Of course, bag prices across the cricket market have gone up pretty much across the board. Uh, for this kind of quality, the organisation, the size, 
the innovative touches, the padding, etc. just the looks, the, the, the entire package. I think £99 personally is a very competitive price. I really, really do. And it is available wherever you are in the world because Phantom ship globally uh, this product uh, along with all their products. Uh, the link is in the description to this video. Uh, do go to, to that link if you're interested in this bag. Like I say, wherever you are in the world, you can get your hands on one of these. I absolutely love them. Uh, that is the Phantom PS7 wheelie duffel bag. Thanks very much for watching this video. Please do subscribe to